It's that dreaded call from the police station. Your son or daughter has just been arrested and the police want you to come down to act as an appropriate adult. So what exactly is your role as an appropriate adult? This is a community legal education presentation. My name is Nasir Hafizi. I'm a solicitor and here's 10 things you should know about being an appropriate adult. Appropriate adults are called to the police station as an important safeguard, providing independent support to detainees who are 17 or under, or adults who are vulnerable. Appropriate adults can be a parent, carer, adult sibling, or a friend of the family. You can't be an appropriate adult if you're a potential witness, victim, or a suspect of the crime the police are investigating. You shouldn't act as an appropriate adult if your relationship is one where you don't get on with your son or daughter, because one of your important roles is to help your child communicate and participate in an effective manner whilst they're detained by the police. And you can't do that if you're not on speaking terms with your child. And you shouldn't be an appropriate adult if you don't have the time due to work or child commitments, because you could be at the police station with your child for several hours. Your role is basically fourfold. One, to assist your child to ensure that they understand exactly what's happening at the police station. Two, to support your child in understanding procedures like having their samples taken. Three, to ensure that the police act fairly and respect your child's rights. And four, to help communication between your child, the police and others. Having an appropriate adult, the police feel that they can gain a better quality of evidence which reduces both the risk of the evidence being excluded at trial and the risk of a miscarriage of justice. Your role as an appropriate adult is an active, not passive one. That means you're expected to do quite a lot of things, such as checking whether your child is being fed and is warm, checking on your child's general well-being and condition and see if they need to see a doctor, making sure your child is being dealt with quickly, making sure your child is being treated with respect and dignity, Escalating any issues that have not been resolved by investigating officers to high ranked officers and ensuring any issues are recorded on the interview or custody record so that this information is available to the courts if the case gets that far. If your child hasn't asked for a solicitor, please get one. If you don't have a named solicitor, then ask the police to call for a duty solicitor. All solicitors who attend police interviews are free and independent of the police. So what are you waiting for? And when you're sat in a private consultation with your child and the solicitor, it's not your job as an appropriate adult to give legal advice, including whether to answer questions or not. That's the solicitor's job. Leave giving legal advice to them. And here's a tip. Bring any documents to the police station which shows your child in a positive light. A good school report. A certificate of achievement. A photograph of your child doing something charitable and give them to the solicitor. These positive documents may be used by the solicitor to show to the police that your child should be believed in their defence to the allegation and to persuade the police to take no further action. Alternatively, these documents may help to persuade the police to treat your child leniently, maybe to issue a caution rather than to charge your child and take them to court. In the police interview, it is your job as the appropriate adult to make sure your child understands the questions being asked and any answers being given by your child are being understood by the police. In the police interview, it's not your job as an appropriate adult to answer the questions on behalf of your child put by the police or to assist the police to get information or a confession which your child doesn't want to give or even though you may be very angry do not say anything negative about your child that might undermine your child's character or defence. The interview, after all, is recorded. And finally, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Community Legal Education so you can watch more videos in the series and many more. Please speak to a solicitor if you need legal advice. And may the justice be with you.